What's up you guys, Mr. Sark here. I am reporting to you not live, deep in the bowels of the Treyarch bunker. I'm joined by Treyarch's Mark Lamia, which before I go on, is it really Treyarch's Mark Lamia? Or is it Mark Lamia's Treyarch? I don't know how that works. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, actually, I'm definitely owned by my team, so it's Treyarch's Mark Lamia. All right, all right. Uh, we just got a little peek at uh, some of the Black Ops 2 uh, shoot 'em up bang bang that's going down in LA. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of gameplay that you guys very generously uh, gave us, and we're going to break it down right now. Before we do, though, set it up for people who maybe haven't heard sort of what the, uh, the plot in Black Ops 2 is sort of kicking off with. It looks like there's army of drones. Right, so we're in the year 2025, and in our fiction, what's happened is we've had the mass proliferation of drones, advancements in robotics and AI, and the reliance on that as, as far as warfare goes in the, in the near future, right? We're talking about 13 years out. These things are gonna be uh, a very important part of the military infrastructure. Well, at this part of the game, what happens is with the villain is what he has done is he's figured out a way to hack into the military infrastructure and basically turn what is your greatest strength into your greatest weakness. And then he's basically turned the drone strike on uh, Los Angeles and you're there, you're playing David Mason, who's the son of Alex Mason from Black Ops that you played. And, uh, you know, this whole game up to this point, you're, you're basically trying to understand and prevent this attack that is now happening. And you're there and you're protecting the president before, you know, all hell breaks loose in Los Angeles, basically. So one of the things that I'm really stoked about this, uh, this footage that you guys are showing off is, well, there's a couple things. A, people were stressed that this was going to be caught in space and you guys are firmly planting it in uh, a, like a very modern setting uh, so I, I'm I'm excited for people to watch this and see that it's not all like ray guns and 50 style like UFOs on fishing line when we did our research um, it was really important to make sure it was plausible and look what you what you know about you know if you look back 13 years ago you know that there's there is weaponry that is familiar today that's been around since then, but it has improvements. There are attachments, there's technology, and that technology is what you're going to be playing with in, in this game. And you're going to also be playing with some of the advancements that we have uh, come up with, original fiction uh, that we've come up with on the drones. And, and they all have backstories, and all the technology has these backstories that you see in there. We literally have to justify to ourselves, how, how do you have this? So. Um, yeah, I think it's, it, it, it is actually very grounded, and I think it's a lot more grounded than, you know, at first blush you might think. But if you stop and you think about it, it's like, it's very grounded. Let's break down some of the hardware that we're looking at, the near future hardware. Um, man, where to begin? The snipe, you've got the snipe that has the charge mechanic. Snipe. Explain to me how that works. It looks like there's a meter next to the scope, a little bit of an x-ray uh, x ray action going on there. Absolutely. So you have the sniper storm that you're going to be able to play with. And then and, and this, and this uh, weapon in the campaign, what's happening is you're using a, an advanced sniper rifle. Now, in the future, if you think about it, it's like we need to come up with technology to advance a sniper weapon. So what, what, what would be a, a pretty awesome sniper weapon then? to be able to see through surfaces and be able to penetrate that, those surfaces, right? So you need to have technologies that you can explain that with. And, and so what we do is, you know, you flew out here today um, and you stood in those TSA machines with your hands over your head and, and the millimeter wave scanning happened and, 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 and they could see all kinds of things, right? Um, they have, you know, right now, big, you know, big form factor equipment rolling through streets and, you're able, they're able to look inside of buildings, right? Well, again, 13 years out, Moore's Law, processing power doubles, at, you know, uh, every, every 18 to 24 months, you know, smaller form factors. You get these smaller form factors, so we've turned it into an optic. The ability to have a millimeter wave scanner is an optic. It's a very powerful optic, right? Um, okay, so great, now you can see Behind, you know, behind surfaces, what do you, what do you, you know, the next thing you want to do as a sniper is you want to be able to take out your target. How do you do that? Well, right now, obviously, a lot of weapons, gunpowder, but electronic charge, uh, you know, is coming and it's going to, you know, allow you to fire rapidly multiple rounds, you know. I think on the internet, a lot of people probably seen these, you know, big, large form factor metal storm weapons that shoot a million rounds every 60 seconds. Well, okay. Now we're going out 13 years, imagine you need to get this into your weapon. So it's electronic charge, um, 
if you charge up multiple rounds, the, the longer you charge, the deeper the surface you can penetrate. So that's, that's the kind of thought that goes into it. Another piece of tech that looked, uh, looked pretty awesome was the, uh, the calling in of your, your quad rotor sidekicks. Uh, and you're doing that, uh, it looks like, off of a little PC on your wrist there? Yeah, so what you got is, right, you have flexible displays being developed and prototyped right now, right? We talk about advancements of technology, you know, you pull out your smartphone in your pocket, that's way more powerful than PCs that we had not too long ago. So imagine this out again 13 years, you have flexible display technology, all kinds of information that you can control in the battlefield, especially if you're networked, right? Which, which if you have all these drones, right, this is AI, this is technology that will need to be networked. So you'll be able to communicate with it in our fiction. You have the quads come in, they're your squad, but it's done very, you know, very Call of Duty style. It's very simple. You know, when you're not actually controlling them, they have intelligent AI, they'll provide support. Aside from, you know, looking really cool, which I think they really do, uh, the gameplay is, is really awesome. And it's, a, and, it's, and it's a new dimension. Now we have squad support, but like I said, it's really action oriented. It's very fast, very fluid when you're playing Call of Duty. Which is another perfect handoff. We've seen, uh, we've seen a couple different guns. Uh, there was some EMP grenades in there. Um, but I think, I think what's like super exciting about this demo specifically is this is the second time, third time I've seen it and it has been different every time. There's been fighting through the street, there's been choosing to snipe from the overpass rather than go down to the street and vice versa. So I think, I think what gamers are gonna really enjoy about this, if they're anything like myself, is your guys' uh, focus on sort of breaking up that constant street level duck behind the wrecked car shootout with a whole bunch of different gameplay mechanics. Just taking it up a level, when we look at the at the game design um, in these campaign levels, is the you know the team actively seeks out to come up with new gameplay for you guys, people who've played a lot of Call of Duty and really enjoy it, but uh, you know new gameplay mechanics, and we methodically look at where we're introducing them. So not only are you going to get new gameplay mechanics, the introduction of choice, um, the level builders have opened up. You know, a lot of the playing spaces, we talk about, you know, when you enter that mall area, or that, that, that center, that Nokia center there, um, when you enter that center, you could actually take various routes. And they'll play differently. They play very differently. You know, you talked about the very beginning of the level. You could have chosen to snipe, and, and that's how you're going to provide cover as they're moving the present forward. Or you could have rappelled down and provided cover on the ground. Um, you know. Ultimately, your success is, in this case is going to get you to the same place, um, uh, but the gameplay will feel very different. Now, there are going to be points in the game where, um, where how you perform will actually branch a story and affect it as well, and that you know that wasn't demonstrated in this particular demonstration, but we got that too. So, you know, up and down, the team is looking at this. They're providing variety of experience, variety of pacing, um, variety of weaponry, just new mechanics, and they're. Not only are they, you know, before we get into this, are they thinking about it in that way and before we, before we create it, but then of course, once it's in there, you gotta play it, you gotta iterate on it, you have to feel it, and that's what's going on now in the development. One last sort of note, the audio, uh, the audio is outstanding, and the, the, obviously the graphics, even on the work in progress, uh, look great. What have you guys done behind the scenes to sort of step up the, the Black Ops 2 mojo, as you guys are, you know, because this is the new jam, <laughs> and people, people are the, there. Is some real graphics whores out there that they they're gonna they're gonna be looking at this through a magnifying glass. The the engineers and the artists uh, they really worked hard to uh, you know we we revamped our lighting system. So what you're seeing there is revamped lighting. Um, you know we were able to push a lot more effects. The detail going on in on these levels is 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 an X factor. If you you know if you compare it to what we were able to do, we are squeezing everything out of this engine right now while keeping the performance up. So uh, people are gonna be really happy. Um, if, you're, if you're into visuals, there's, you know, this level has a very distinct artistic style as well. It's like, um, I don't know if you've ever been, you know, been around when you've seen, you know, a fire and how that's taken over the sky, you know, um, and, it, and it blocks out the sun and everything becomes, it's a very, you know, sort of like Armageddon brown and orange thing. That's sort of the vibe that's going on while as the drones are coming into LA. And so there's even a very distinct art style 
style for this level. Each of our levels have these distinct art styles and the team is really um, just pushing on, on graphics and visuals. You talked about the audio, you know what, that is so important. Um, we have, a, we have a super talented uh, audio team who's so passionate about just, you know, uh, immersing people in, in, in just the environment. And, you know, that, that's not only that's the sound effects creation, um, it's the composition and, and it's the mix. It's everything coming together and the team and that audio team is, is looking to just like immerse you into this world. Well, we're about ready to do, uh, we're about ready to go to E3, so I'm going to spend my entire time downtown hoping that a drone doesn't crap on me. I'm going to be watching the skies. <laughs> uh, you guys all know the drill. It's getting to be, uh, it's getting to be Call of Duty time, so glean what you can on those multiplayer details from all this. You do, you know you do it every summer. Uh, we look forward to when you guys start dropping uh, more and more info on yeah. that, that part of the game. Oh, look, I gotta tell you, yeah, look, you guys, you haven't seen anything when it comes to multiplayer. I mean, the multiplayer team between the weapons and what they're just doing in the game, you guys are going to be really excited. All right, well, thanks for, uh, thanks for showing it off, Mark. Appreciate the, uh, the sneak peek. Uh, go watch the full gameplay. It's over on Respawn. There's a link in the description. You guys rock. Thank you, Mark. Let me give you a sweaty handshake. You guys do rock, so thank you very much. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.